It's four days of Broadwurst, beer, and live music, and more. It is the 24th annual My Fest Chicago, heading back to Lincoln Square next month. And here with all the details is May Fest committee member Jerry Gluns. Thank you so much. We keep saying May My. It is May Fest. It's May Fest. May Fest. Even yes. though it's M A I. Well, that's the German spelling of it, yes. Ah, so you have yes. to teach us Americans something yes. here. <laughs> try, to, try to get it all. <laughs> what is Mayfest? Because it sounds like it's a lot well, of things, but it's really just about German heritage, correct? Well, it's a celebration of spring. Okay. I mean, first of all, I want to thank you for letting me come yes, on today oh, and stuff. Absolutely. This is great. But um, it is a celebration of spring. It's a time that everybody's been cooped up all winter long. It's time to get out over in Europe. They're putting up poles all over t all over the country in Germany and uh, in Austria and stuff. And they put these things up, and it's the, it's not something they put up with a crane. They actually get these boards or they, these big sticks and stand them up. I mean, it's really cool to see. And someone standing there. And it there takes in the most of the day. It? Yeah. And holding it while everybody dances around the maple. Well, we get it. They get it up, put it into place, and then oh, all the okay. dancing all right. comes all up. Right. We have a permanent one that we put up years ago. And, that's what kind of sparked this, so let's have a party around it. Why and not? They do that in Germany, we'll do it here. Okay. So 24, this marks 24 years and going strong. Yes, yes. It's been some fantastic years all the time. I mean, this is the time of year that it's basically for, for all the kids and all our culture to really get out and show the kids what it's like to dance in front of public and stuff. These kids work so hard during the season, during the off season and stuff, and they get to bring them out. We, we have all these different shows and different parties throughout the year, and they get to come out and dance for that and show it off to everybody. But it's something that's really special. I mean, really something that we've all looked forward to. And we have to pass this on, because if we no. don't, it's going to get lost. And we saw a little bit of the food there. What are some yeah. of the other items? There's a sausage for Mayfest. Maybe bratwurst, bratwurst and Thuringer and um, Lieberkase, which is like a German meatloaf. And it's some, some great food. I mean, just some really, it's, it's all standard German food and stuff. And it, you got the sauerkraut, the red cabbage. It's really good. So tell me about the maypole. How did that become a thing that you dance around the maypole? Well, again, it's a tradition that's over in Germany. They do this, they've been doing this for years. And I mean, I saw it for the first time in the early 90s and thought it was really something special. Uh -huh. And that's why when we decided to put this poll up, it's like, well, why, why don't we do a party with this? I mean, so it was, you know, my, my it was, you know, Eric Himmel, Joe Matushka, my father, Jack Lons, and uh, Alderman Schulte, they came up with this idea, bring this poll, you know, get this poll over. Mm -hmm. And we put this up, we got the Hofbrau Brew to donate the figurines and stuff. And we put the poll up. And then so it's, I mean, the poll's there, we do not, but we don't pull it down every year, but over oh, there good. they do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But so, oh, you know, something that's just, it's a nice reminder of being home. You know, a lot of people like to come and take pictures around the Maypole and stuff, so. Chicago is obviously a very big melting pot. How does the German population uh, fit, fit into that? Is it a large German population in Chicago? Well, yes. Yeah, so there was a big, you know, big population came over in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. My great-grandfather immigrated in 1879. Um, he came with his neighbor, Oscar Meyer. And they came over and started, you know, right there in, in, uh, in Old Town. Mm -hmm. um, our original wine store is at Wells and Division, the House of Gluns. And it goes, and it went down Lincoln Avenue. So the whole, that whole strip down Lincoln Avenue was all German restaurants and all the Germans kind of, you know, everybody kind of settles into their enclave or their, mm -hmm. their area around their people. So mm -hmm. it's something where that just all grew up and down there and stuff like that. So it's really just a beautiful reminder of, you know, this, this is our history. This is something that we have to really cherish, and we have got to pass this on and show the importance to the younger generation. So oh. beer is something yes, else that you guys, cheers. yeah, that you bring. What and do we say to cheers in German? Prost. 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 That's okay. right. Prost. Okay. Prost. Let's taste. And which oh, is this? Very this, nice. is good. this is the Hofbrau original. This is what we'll be serving at the at the fest. Oh, I love oh, so that. So it's one kind of beer. I would have thought that there were. Well, we're doing we're doing an American beer too, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Okay. That's fantastic. fun. Yeah. And then so we also have music. So when music. people come out, should is it just one day and you get it all in, or no, you need to be out there all four days? Friday we start or set, Thursday we start with Rock the Mate Fest, a little okay. non-traditional, do some rock and roll, have a good time. And then um, Friday night we do the barrel tapping. We we have an actual German barrel from the Hofbrau so Brewery. So cool. So we tap the barrel, and some dignitary will tap that. And then um, you know, then Saturday and Sunday they do the different the different bands come out and play. And then Sunday we do the whole day of of all the clubs doing their thing. 